head. You got a big head. You want to know I got a big head? Because I got a lot of brains, baby. <laughs> no way. No way. It's happening. Tito Ortiz, two years ago, Tito Ortiz said he was going to become a cop. And some dumb motherfucker's gone and made it happen. We're going to get into the story. Let's take a look. So here we have it. Tito Ortiz plans to retire from MMA and become a police officer. This was two years ago. No, it wasn't two years ago. Sorry. It was four years ago in 2020. And in 2024, some dumb motherfucker's gone and done it. They've made Tito Ortiz an honorary sheriff in... I think it's Coral Cape or Cape Coral or something like that. I don't know what the fucking honorary sheriff is, but the fact that anyone is giving this this guy a fucking <laughs> badge. Um, it was a Gregor McConnor or Connor I want to outlive my children. Of course, one hundred percent. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. We're going to break down the story. Um, so where is it? There we go. Uh, there's a new sheriff in town. And he's a former UFC champion. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? There's a picture of good old Tito. Uh, with his with his sheriff's badge. We've got a video. We've got a video of Tito Ortiz being sworn in. So if you haven't seen it, here's the video of Tito Ortiz being sworn in by the police. Of course. Certificate of appointment in the state of Florida of Lee County that I, Colin Marcino, Sheriff of Lee County, Florida, do hereby certify that the person whose name and photograph appears on the reverse side of this ID card has appointed by me as the honorary deputy of the office of Lee County Sheriff until Florida such appointment remains effect until my term expires and my appointment is revoked. Tito, congratulations. Honorary Deputy Tito HR335. Congratulations. Thank you, sir, very much. I appreciate wow. it. Wow. Thanks for being a great American. I appreciate it so much. You have been Thank you, sir. Thanks for being a great American, my brother. Awesome. Wow. It's ID card and gold shield. Yeah. Greatest county in America. Lee Love county. you, man. Love you, Tim. Awesome. <laughs> and there's a picture of his new sheriff badge, Lee County Sheriff. Uh, so the, the story reads, feeling incredibly honored. Well, he got honored. <laughs> feeling incredibly honored. Yesterday, I was sworn in as an honorary sheriff for Lee County by the amazing sheriff, Carmine Marcino. I'm beyond grateful for this privilege and so proud to serve in my new home of Cape Corral. He's no longer the Huntington, Huntington Beach bad boy. Um, ears to new beginnings and making a positive impact in our community. I'm deeply humbled by this privilege and have immense respect for our brave men and women in blue. Not just in Cape Corral, but across the entire United States. Their dedication and commitment inspire me every day. Proud to be part of this community and to support our law enforcement heroes. And God help us all making this guy a sheriff. So, as I was growing up, is don't ever do juice, as in steroids, right? Chelsea Sonny gets popped for a juice cocktail. So people want to say, so how? And the question was, so how do I think this fight's gonna turn out? I said, well, let me go ahead and find Chell for you. So the best acronym I can think of that is a juice box. Juice box being Chell Sonnen. and it was no more than that because he is a juicy juice boy. He likes to do his dabble in his little steroid stuff and hopefully they do uh, test us, which I know they will test us. They test us on all of our fights, um, but that just shows a sign of weakness and a sign of weakness of him being full of juice. He's a juice box, he's a juice boy, and that's why the juicy juice box came into the camera frame. Nice one for watching, and if you like the video, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.